The new Roslyn Institute building was opened in 2011 when the Institute moved to the Easterbush campus to sit alongside the Royal Digg School of Veterinary Studies. The Institute has expanded dramatically and has developed a broad panel of interests with a wide research portfolio spanning genetics, developmental biology, infectious disease and neurobiology. The Developmental Biology Division aims to enhance fundamental knowledge of the control of cellular growth and differentiation to underpin the development of better disease intervention strategies. The goal is to advance our understanding of function in these essential biological processes through mechanistic studies at the cell, tissue and whole organism level, with particular focus on stem cells, tissue and organ development, tissue damage and repair, and regulatory networks in development. The regulation of gene expression is at the basis of all these biological processes and the mission of the Chromatin Lab, headed by Dr. Doug Veneman, is to bring new angles to the Roslin Institute with its expertise in chromatin and epigenetics. So the aim of the Chromatin Laboratory is to understand how mammalian genes are switched on and off during cell differentiation to control cell fate and specify different lineages. But we also aim to understand how genes are abnormally regulated in some genetic diseases like cancers or leukemia. More specifically, we aim to understand how the stem cells in the bone marrow can produce all the different lineages you find in the blood. Technically, we're using chromatin immunoprecipitation, which involves protein-DNA interaction. So in the cells, all the genes are regulated by protein called transcription factors. So this protein binds to the DNA. In order to identify those regions of DNA, we using chemicals to fix the structure so the protein remains attached to the DNA and then we cut the DNA in different fragments and then we can isolate this piece of DNA by simply using an antibody that recognizes this protein and we can isolate the whole complex. Then we can simply identify the DNA region by doing high throughput sequencing. So 2011 was a very exciting moment because the Rosin Institute has undergone a dramatic changes. So we have now a brand new institute, which is much bigger, and we have uh, open laboratories that really promote uh, more uh, collaboration and communication between laboratories. So we benefit a lot of the expertise from other scientists, such as bioinformatics, imaging, gene targeting, and also mass spectrometry. And I have to say I'm very delighted to launch my new laboratory here with international students who are really, really talented. And also we have strong support from um, uh, funders like uh, the British Society for Hematology and the Lady Tata Memorial Trust. So I worked over the last 10 years at the University of Oxford and uh, recently I joined the University of Edinburgh. So I was appointed a Chancellor Fellow and I joined the Rosen Institute in October 2012. And my mission is to bring expertise uh, in chromatin regulation and epigenetics uh, in the Rosen Institute. Researchers across the University of Edinburgh benefit from accessing the world-leading Edinburgh Genomics High Throughput Sequencing Facility based at the Roslyn Institute and the King's Buildings Campus. I'm Alva and I'm in my first year PhD uh, here in the Chromatin Lab at the Roslyn Institute. I'm working on the development of red blood cells and looking at one mutation which causes many different phenotypes. It's an interesting project. It's funded by the British Society of Hematology. Um, I moved here from Dublin just last year and I'm really enjoying uh, discovering the city and uh, the vibrancy of the university. The University of Edinburgh has a long history of outstanding postgraduate research. At the Roslyn Institute, there are around 150 PhD students undertaking three and four year projects. I'm a first year PhD student and I study regulators of epigenetic marks, uh, especially in the development of blood cells and leukemia. I really love Edinburgh and uh, I especially like how everyone is really friendly. PhD students from all over the world choose to study at the Roslyn Institute. The students in groups such as Doug Veneman's benefit from having access to a wide range of state-of-the-art facilities as well as excellent mentoring throughout their studies. My name is Irene and I came from Barcelona to start my PhD here in Edinburgh. 
Um, I am working on the um, role of epigenetic erasers as tumour suppressors. All right, so this is Edinburgh Genomics. This is the core sequencing facility within the University of Edinburgh. Um, at this site, we have three Illumina high stick 2500 machines, and one of them is running away here. Um, we also have a desktop um, size MySeq machine, which also does sequencing. Uh, we take samples from researchers, from ranging from bacteria through plants to mammal samples, and we produce libraries, which then we run on these sequencing machines.